All right, so they definitely caused the for a celebration. Woo! Boom! Juice Bomb IPA, probably my one of my top three favorite beers in the world. Great news today, so Harley Davidson has released the 2022 Sportster Nightster at that. Who saw the release this morning? Amazing, if you haven't yet, make your way to harleydavidson.com and check that out. Davidson platform. We all know the Nightster for looking like this, and now the Nightster looks like this. You know, if I had to say what the new Sportster Nightster is, I would say it would be like if a V Rod and a Dyna got together and they had a baby. That's what the new 2022 Harley Davidson Sportster, Nightster, it's a lot to say, would be a, a baby of a V Rod and a Dyna. Like. So I'm really happy to see the big improvements that Harley Davidson has done from going to the Gen 1 Nightster, going to this one with the Revolution Max engine. Um, uh, it's just a lot to talk about in this video, so I'm gonna try to make it as fast as possible but uh overall let me just tell you right now right off the bat i think they knocked it out the park i think the bike looks absolutely great a lot of the features that they added onto the bike were obviously a lot of things that people have been complaining about when it comes to sportsers in the past decade or two with the exception of one i mean they they're still gonna have small gas tanks so you're not gonna get long miles on these things but then again they're not meant for that okay so let's talk about all the improvements that harley davidson has made to this brand new bike now we have the 975 red max engine same engine that you're gonna have on the sports s and on the harley davidson pan america that obviously we know those engines are coming out and kicking a lot more horsepower and torque but this i cannot wait to get on this because this bike is obviously a lot lighter a lot lighter than its predecessors around 80 pounds less which is a huge huge difference and talking about huge i got some huge news i got some huge news we'll just wait till the i think about it we might do it at the end of the video the bike weighs around 485 pounds which is great um even i remember when i had my sportia 883 that bike weighed around 560 ish around there um yes it was lighter compared to the other harley davidson's on the platform but still 60 pounds less wow um also something really really cool that i thought they did uh we no longer have gas in the tank so it's just in the air box now the gas tank what well, used to be a gas tank is on an air box and they relocated the whole gas tank underneath the seat um giving it obviously a lower center of gravity so i really i'm really eager to test that out and see how i'm going to be able to maneuver that bike around twisties Talking about twisties, it does have a higher lean angle at that, which is really good because you know, if you guys have ridden any sports shirts, the lean angle is not the best. You're gonna be scraping pegs all over the place. I remember when I had mine, that was one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, but hey, if you like scraping pegs, it's fun. But on this bike, you're gonna have a lot more lean angle, which is a plus. Now let's get into my, my favorite segment, something that I have been butchered on this channel for so many times because this is probably the main thing that I've been asking the company to do for the past two or three years riding modes yes so <laughs> the new nicer has riding mode it has rain mode it has road mode and it has sport mode obviously sport mode is probably the mode that everybody's gonna be on i've been having my pan america for the past months already and i i literally ride that bike on sport mode all day the amount of torque you get out of that mode right there on these bikes and it, it's it's 
it's instant. It, it feels kind of like a naked bike. It feels kind of like a sport bike in any type of way because the, the power is just right at the snap of that throttle and, and it just feels great. So this light frame bike, small frame bike with more horsepower now on the sport mode, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, talking about sport mode, they did mention that you're gonna be able to get into those high RPMs, rev it out to around 9,000 RPM, which is amazing. That's what I do on the Pan America. Um, that's why I really, I'm a really big fan of the Red Max engine because you're able to really get that full amount of power out of these engines and really roll them out. Um, so I, I, I'm really, really here to get on this bike, man. And maybe doing it sooner than you think. But we turn in the video. Now let's talk about design real quick. I love the little bikini fairing that they put in the front. I think it makes the bike look really, really nice. Um, the stock exhaust, I mean, the design looks cool, but obviously that's one thing that everybody's gonna be switching out. Uh, the sound that came from those bikes that were built in the video from a lot of these builders around the world, it was like something else, man. I mean, I've seen exhaust on the Red Max engine on obviously the Pan America and they sound nowhere near to what these exhausts sound like on that bike. Um, so I cannot wait what the aftermarket is going to be doing. Um, obviously Harley Davidson bikes, I mean the aftermarket parts are out there and I cannot wait to see all the brand new things that are going to be made for this platform right here when it comes to seats, foot pegs, um, rips, um, stage one, stage two kits, different exhausts. Um, just different details here and there and and we all know that when it comes to sportsters like sportsters are in a way uh, a, a blank canvas because you could turn a little sports into a cafe racer a uh, little club style bike if you want to add some big high riser if you want to add some big eight bars and turn to something else you can do that you can make it into all sorts of things so sports is a really nice canvas so you can transform into almost anything and that's probably one of the coolest things that kind of attracts people to that platform um obviously price point so let's get to this part right here let's talk about price point they have the brand new nicer price at 13.499 now let that sink in real quick. How, how do we feel about the price point? Drop your, your thoughts and comments down below. Um, do we feel like it's too high? I honestly think the price is, it's good. I, I, I think it's it's very reasonable. I mean, if you look at a 48 right now, you're you're what? You're paying 12,300 for a 48. An Iron 83 is gonna run you around 11.2, 11 11.3. 11 and then we get the Sports Rats, which is gonna run you uh, 15 and 4, 15 and 3 or something like that, right? So it's like right in the middle. It, I, I knew it had to be priced a little higher than the 48 right now. Like I said, the 48 is priced at 12.3. So for this bike to have uh, a bunch of this new tech on it and you're only gonna pay maybe like a thousand dollars more is not that bad. Um, talking about tech, and we're also gonna have rider safety enhancement, which is awesome. Comes standard with ABS. Also traction control and a bunch of goodies at that. And finally, 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 Harley Davidson has given us a bike with LED lighting. So yes, it does say that it comes with a LED headlamp in the front. So thank you, Harley Davidson. I thought you guys were gonna, you know, not give us an LED headlight, but turn signals. We're still waiting for LED turn signal, Harley Davidson. It's 2022. We want LED turn signals on all these awesome looking bikes, please and thank you. And lastly, horsepower and torque. When it comes to horsepower, we got 90 horsepower on here and 70 foot-pounds of torque. Um, on a lightweight bike like this, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. Was I expecting a bit more? Maybe, uh, maybe just 100 horsepower? Yes, I was expecting about 100 horsepower on it. But like I said, the bike is very, very light and it's a small frame, so I, can, I cannot wait to get on this bike and experience it for what it is and just, Wow, like I, I think, I don't know, I, I think they, they did pretty good. Also, another thing I forgot to mention was the analog gauge system. We got a four inch gauge right there. No, it's not touchscreen, no, it's not digital, but you're able to toggle through those buttons and that's how you're able to switch from your modes. Um, but it looks great. Well, I mean, I kind of was kind of expecting the same touchscreen that's on the Sportster S. I mean, that would have been pretty cool, but it's fine. As long as I'm able to toggle through and change my riding modes, and I mean, that gauge looks pretty nice as is right now, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, 
besides that, it's great. I think the design is great. I like the two and the one exhaust. Um, like I said, I cannot wait to see these after uh, market companies come up with some really cool designs for this bike. Some nice air cleaners, uh, some different wheels. I just, I just kind of want to like, I'm like trying to, I want to look at one in person right now and just picture it out and just make it my own. Um, but yeah, make it my own. Like funny saying that I'm gonna be riding this bike in about two weeks. Um, so if you want to find out more information about that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button so I don't notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. I, and I got some big news, man. I got some huge news. I got some huge news. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get closer for this. Um, yeah, I can't. I, I, yeah, uh, uh, Harley Davidson is going to be.